Hello, Victoria here. Please subscribe. So today is the second part of my own core therapy treatment with lovely Vanessa. Vanessa is treating me in her own therapy room over in Oxfordshire in the UK. And this time you get to see how she treats me once I've turned over. So it's the alignment check, the hips, the looking down the body at the shoulders, uh, knees, hips, and then a beautiful neck release. So you'll see how my neck moves. Um, sometimes quite different to other people's. It's got quite a, a long and arched move to it, which brings me great relief from muscle ache and tension. It can also help headaches, hormone balance, which I explain in the video. So please do like, comment, share. Tell me in the chat how things that I ask you to do while I'm talking for you may help you. And I give you a little bit of insight into what CORE does for me and how it has changed my philosophy on life. So stay tuned to the end to hear all about it. And I look forward to coming to you again next week back in the Bothy. Okay, let's spread a little healing. Please subscribe. Bye guys. So here we are back in Vanessa's beautiful Oxfordshire garden therapy room. Vanessa is a wonderful friend who has been treating me and I've been treating her every few weeks for the last three or four years. This is the second part of a core therapy that she gave me on a nice warm day, it's beautiful sunshine on this lovely June day. Yes, unfortunately we're still wearing PPE Clients have to wear masks unless they are exempt and therapists have to wear masks and visors. Vanessa has a eye visor on over her glasses and having turned over from last week's treatment where I was checked with kinesiology and treated on my back. She's now checked my alignment and at the foot area, looking up my body, and now has her palms over my hip points, my bones, the iliacs. Quite often therapists will have their eyes closed so that they are not distracted by what's going on in the room. But in order to feel and sense the energy within the client. We're also checking for physical balance, that there's no twisted torsion there. And what the energy is doing, whether there's a lovely flow, and if there isn't, they'll spend longer in that area. There needs to be good physical flow where you can feel that tingling smoothness of energy, not just with breath, it's actually at a different pace. She'll also be feeling for any warmth, is there any coolness or too much heat in any particular area? And she'll occasionally open her eyes to make sure that the work she's doing will be creating the right effect so that there's a smoothness to the alignment of my body, my shoulders, my hips, my knees, even the angle of my head and neck. And now working on Vanessa's favourite area of core therapy, which is towards the cranial balancing. Before that is performed, it's important to look at the physical dimensions 
the posture of the neck. So this is, yes, it's the soft tissue, the muscle, ligaments. Even you can feel into the glands at this point. But first of all, she'll be working on the bone and muscle. She's feeling in between each vertebra and on each vertebra point in order to make sure there's some give there, some smoothness, some softness, that there is that little bounce that I tend to talk about in my videos when I'm treating my clients. She's having a feel into each of the processes of the vertebra, that's the, if you like, the arms that come out on the sides of each vertebra, and checking to make sure that they do give, they, they twist a little when pushed. Now, my head moving in this manner is such a good sign. I'm so relieved that it's doing that. It, I've had, oh, I don't know how many now, but possibly a hundred core therapy treatments in my time. I started receiving core therapy in 2013 and I qualified as a core therapist after a year's course in 2014, so seven years ago. And I've probably had treatments at least monthly and obviously I was worked on many times during my course. So she's telling me now that it's really good that when she's pressing on a spinal process, the sides of the vertebra, that there is that movement of my head as she pushes, I'm being naturally moved upwards with my head. That's a really good sign to show there's that lovely bounce. Oh, she's found a point now. You can see my eyes are cringing. I would certainly tell her if it was too much, but if there is an area that needs work, then I'm very happy and trusting of Vanessa to work on it for me. Now she's stretching applying pressure with one arm and hand down on the shoulder, meanwhile just gently supporting the head and back of the scalp in the opposite direction in order to create that wonderful releasing stretching effect. Uh, she's still feeling now into the vertebra of my neck, she's feeling into the right side and now the left. We're always looking for areas that need a little bit of help. Sometimes the seven vertebra of the neck can feel like one or more are either subluxated or fixated. Fixated means that two or more may be attached to each other and moving as one, although they shouldn't be unless they have had an operation for that to happen. Subluxated means that one or more are either too far left or right of their normal alignment, i.e. in a nice straightish line. Oh, fantastic neck stretch. So Vanessa is fully supporting my head, inserting her fingers in the very top of the spine. And I'm trusting her completely to hold the weight of my head up, which is very heavy. All our heads are so heavy, it's a big job for our necks. While moving and 
allowing that natural gravity rush to hold and lengthen my head backwards, almost as if I'm looking at the back wall. Having given me a beautiful neck release. You can see my body is very relaxed at this point. My alignment's fairly good. Shoulders are quite low. Hips don't seem to be rotated from this angle, nor my feet. It's quite telling for therapists when they're sitting at the head area to look down the body at the feet and see whether the feet are doing the same thing. So pointing outwards or inwards, up or down, or whether one's doing one thing and the, the other foot doing the other. Have a look at your feet now if you're lying down. See whether your feet are symmetrical. And that may be quite telling on the joints above them. It's not necessarily the feet that is causing their position. It may be coming from the hips, the knee or the ankle. And this is a wonderful Qigong float that Vanessa is giving me now called the occipital frontal float. So she has her right hand on my frontal bone, which is the forehead. And the left hand supporting and giving energy to the back of my head, the occipital. And this can take many minutes where the therapist is sensing the energy of the body, the client's body, of their, their head and mind is a very deep, profound feeling where it really helps with stress levels particularly. I find with my client, clients it also helps with mental clarity and headaches or migraines. And because of the area being worked on, so it's the brain, the glands, for instance, the pineal gland and the pituitary gland, I find it also helps with the endocrine system. So hormones, for instance, stress levels, reproductive system, energy levels, metabolism, thyroid. Also motivation. But the best thing is to work on stress levels at this point. This brings the ultimate in relaxation. Vanessa is simply following the movement of my head. She's not moving me at all. This is always energy taken from the client so that the therapist is simply tuning into the energy and movement that the client naturally wants to produce. The colours now are amazing. I am seeing purples and pinks. Whereas last week I talked about seeing magenta and mottled different tones of pink. This time I'm seeing deep purples and pinks all mixed together in a beautiful watercolour painting. Blotches and clouds. They're moving, they're coming nearer, slowly being blown away 
and they give me the amazing feeling of relaxation, like I'm tuning into my higher self. I'm experiencing that wonderful sensation of connectedness to my deeper consciousness. You know, it is said that we are only aware of about five, maybe seven percent of our consciousness. And there is a whole realm of deeper consciousness to become aware of, to become enlightened. And I really feel that when I have a therapy and when I am treating my clients, that consciousness is revealed. It's like a tide going out on a beach, just slowly revealing a beach a little more each time the sea goes out. And this is like becoming awakened. I am currently undertaking a meditation and meditation teacher training course for a year and a little. And I am so looking forward to bringing you guys some beautiful meditations once I am qualified later this year. And the learnings that I am being given from some amazing gurus on my course. The enlightenment's revelations and insights I feel when I meditate each morning make me want to help with myself, with my clients, my friends, my family, the wider community and as much of the world as I possibly can. You know, we are all here for a purpose. And once it is revealed to us our purpose, we are happy because we know what makes us happy, what, what we are meant to be doing. And I'm sure in life that my purpose is to help as many people as possible to spread healing, contentedness and tranquility. Maybe in the chat you would like to share with me the purpose that has been revealed to you. Where do you feel that your intention your sharing with the world, where do you feel that that lies? There are so many opportunities for us in this life, whether it's with nature, the world, the environment, with people, with animals, with learning, with healing, with reassuring, Anything where we are passionate, where we spread happiness, has got to be a good thing. Vanessa has now worked on my frontal bone and now she's tuning into the front of my throat. This is so good because Within my therapies, you'll notice I do a lot of talking to my client and these days I'm doing a lot of talking with you guys. And quite often our Vishuddhi chakra, which is the throat chakra, so this is our ability to express and communicate, but it's also our respiration, our breathing, our sinuses and listening, it's our ears, our lungs, our capacity to breathe deeply. Quite often that area can be blocked even though we use it a lot, maybe we use it too much. 
And I've learned recently on my course to take a moment before talking. Take a moment to make sure that what we're saying is the right thing to say. That it will help. That we're not doing it for a self-motivated reason. That we are only doing it to help others as much as possible. Self-compassion is indeed important as well and charity may well begin at home. That's why I'm also doing a series on Mondays for self-massage and self-compassion. Having finished the treatment, Vanessa updates her notes while I slowly come round, I stretch out a little. Stretching the backs of my legs, bringing my toes up. And we communicate a little about how it felt, what colours we both saw. Vanessa actually saw deep greens and blues, which is super because blue relates to my throat area. So I'm really pleased she saw that. And green relates to my heart chakra. She's just rechecking one of the kinesiology points that wasn't brilliant at the start. It did pass, but I could feel a little bit of wobbliness. I thank her very much for treating me. And then I have a nice stretch before I get up. And Vanessa and I have a little chat outside before I leave ready to see her again at my spot in a few weeks time. So we've had our swap treatment. Uh, I'm feeling great. I really needed that. It's been a long time coming and um, my back felt great and obviously I'm too busy to get on the bike and that seems to be suiting me well which she's delighted about because every time I come in and I've been on the bike a few times, I'm all my repatternings out, my alignment, my spine. And so, you know, it was easy for her today. <laughs> very, very. And I'm just so chilled. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're sort of just sort of floating a little bit at the moment, aren't we? It's the cranial. Yeah, you can't even get words out. No. <laughs> yeah, it's the cranials, all of that floating. Best. Love it. Mm. Absolutely love it. Lovely. So, so I'll see you again in a month. Yeah. Fab. Thank you.